Welcome to another video. Today I'm joined by sales trainer Misty Hinkle, who uh, is, helps solopreneurs increase their sales with her low cost sales programs. Welcome, Misty, and thanks for joining us again. My pleasure, Paul. Love being here. Awesome. So today I want to talk about your concept uh, about focusing on one thing. Sales is a whole bunch of things. Um, but so many people fuck it up by doing too many things. Tell us about it. About picking one thing at a time. Right. So uh, yeah, let's look at sales from one thing at a time. It's called multitasking or not multitasking, right? Here's how you sell. You pick one thing to sell and then you talk about it and that's it. So if you can say what it is and how much it costs and stop talking, people can actually buy. The reason sales become so hard is often if you've got more than one product to sell is trying to sell all of it at once. If I use multi-level marketers as a great example, let's say a Tupperware consultant or an Amway consultant or an Avon, you know, let's go Tupperware, right? Here's how a Tupperware consultant does it. Pretend this is my book, right? But let's pretend this is the latest Tupperware catalogue, right? Now, here's what they do. Consultant does this. Oh, my God, the new catalogue's come out. It's amazing. You should see it. And there they go. They hand the whole thing over. And, of course, the person that gets it goes, oh, my God, yes. Oh, I'm so going to look at that. Yeah, I'll put it down. I'll, um, I'll check it out while I have a cup of tea. And then you have a bit of a flip through and go, wow, all this good stuff. Overload, 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 overload. As you're going, all this good stuff. God, I kind of want something, but I don't. And I don't know what to pick. And overload, overload, overload. Eventually, you put it down. You move it around the house a few times. And you think, I should really get back and have a look at that. And then you go, I'm just going to throw it out because it's too much information. It's very overwhelming. Now, let's compare that to the consultant picking one thing. Here's the latest Tupperware catalogue. I'm so excited. I tell you what, my favourite thing is still the um, can opener. It's on page 27. It's $54. And then what you'll do is when you get that, because now you've been given an idea of where to start, you go, Page 27, oh, my God, the can opener is on there. It is $54. Huh. Oh, that's cool. Well, what makes that so good? And now because they've got something to start looking at, now they can read the catalogue better. And it could be that they look at it and go, oh, hmm, do I need a tin opener? Do I do anything that needs a tin opener? Is that what I need? Yes or no? But now it settles down the brain so that they can look at the other things. And the worst case scenario is the consultant sends a whole bunch, sells a lot of tin openers. Not really a problem because anything that they sell becomes that's a client that's buying something. So it's much easier to buy according to what somebody suggests to us, like the consultant or that. And now this works for everybody else. I'm a sales trainer, Paul. So it works like this I have group sales classes, I have personal coaching, and I have my two books. Now, when I load people up and say, so ultimately, I could call it all one thing. It's called low-cost sales training. So I sell low-cost sales training in either book format, personal coaching, or group classes. Now it's like low-cost sales training. Doesn't matter the format. But if I say, someone says, so Missy, what do you sell? Oh, I sell these group sales classes. They're amazing. And then I sell this personal coaching. And I sell these books. Everyone goes, oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah, I don't know where to start with that. I don't know if I need anything. I'm not really sure what to do. So even me, like... I know that if I pick more than one thing to talk about, I'll overload people. So how do you sell multiple things? You don't. You just sell one thing at a time to many people and then you can sell the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. I think the biggest problem people have is I need to sell everything all at once. I'm not sure where that concept came. You don't sell everything all at once. Even the supermarket puts everything on the shelves, but you only buy what you need at any one time. And it's yeah. only one thing at a time that goes into the trolley. So you're not going in click and hostel. That makes so much sense, you know, because um, when I was in, 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 in big corporate, when we were doing solution selling, you wouldn't yeah. see a Google going out and selling Google Workspace and Google Search and Google Data Storage and Google whatever to a company. They'd go and they'd sell that. One thing. Yeah. One thing at a time. Let's look at McDonald's, biggest name in hamburgers across the world. They have a huge menu but they only talk hamburgers or they only talk McCoffee or they talk Happy Meals or they talk the 30 cent ice cream. It's one thing at a time they don't load you up. Coke, one thing at a time. 
Coke Classic, original, Diet Coke used to be, Coke no sugar. One thing. Then they bring out the flavour ones, vanilla Coke or raspberry Coke. One thing. They don't then give you the entire menu. It's only one thing. And then they get maximum sales on that one thing. When that's run out, oh, we'll put the ad out for the other one because <laughs> the other one's, you know, behind now. One thing. Air Jordans or um, Nike, you know, how'd they sell so many Air Jordans? One shoe. They had all the other shoes, but they get you on the one shoe. Let's have a look at the Air Jordans. And if that doesn't suit you, now you're already in store. You can look at all the others. You only need one thing to get the audience in to have a look at. Just one. Great advice. Thank you very much, Missy, because um, I'm sure a lot of the entrepreneurs and solopreneurs and consultants and coaches and goodness knows what else out there have this problem. They see too many shiny balls. They outside and they see too many shiny balls in their basket and they focus on all of them as opposed to just one thing yeah coaches big one for coaches because you say what do you sell how much does it cost that's the question well you might not say it. here's the question i ask all the time what do you sell how much does it cost what do you sell how much does it cost oh we'll see i've got four different packages great just pick one and tell me or you can do the starting one what does it start at Right. So if you've got multiple things, it starts somewhere. So it's easy to just do the starting price and everything goes up from there. If you don't want to sell the starting thing, right, you want, you prefer something else. Or you find particularly coaches, coaches might say, well, I know that one session is not going to help them. I prefer to sell three or I prefer six or I want a client for a year. Okay. Then decide to just sell that. Let's say it was, I sell um, coaching that costs $12,000. $12,000? How much coaching is that? 12 months worth. Ah, allow the customer to ask questions. Don't worry, the customer will end up putting it back into perspective. We salesmen don't have to get all anxious about they're never going to understand. Oh, yeah, they will. When they ask questions, they will understand because they're asking questions what they need. $12,000, so it's 12 months worth of coaching. Ah, oh, what if I only really need like one session? How much is that? See, so they'll downgrade themselves. You might say $1,000, right, so it's $1,000 per session, or it might be $200. Wow, how many sessions then in 12 months? Was that twice a week for a year or something? Like they'll, they'll do the maths, they'll work it out. So, but one thing at a time. Okay. Fantastic. So thank you very much, Missy. Appreciate your insights there. If you want to get in touch with Missy, her details will be in the bottom uh, of wherever you see the video <laughs> in the description. Um, where would you like, where, where, where's the best place for people to interact with you, Missy? Uh, I have a YouTube channel. And so all my contact details are there on YouTube. Google knows who I am. I'm like as famous as Ryan Reynolds or Ryan's as famous as me. Um, he doesn't have a website. He's an actor. I don't have a website. I'm a sales trainer. So somehow Google found us both. So you can Google me, Misty Henkel, sales trainer. And uh, all my contact details show up there. Otherwise, I'm usually wearing a crown. You made me get it out. Usually wearing a crown, right? And I'm on Facebook and LinkedIn. Now <laughs> I recognize you. I'm the only, only <laughs> I'm the only Misty Henkel and I'm wearing a crown. So you can find me on um, social media. Uh, LinkedIn, LinkedIn, Facebook. LinkedIn, yeah, Facebook, that's for sure. Yeah. And as I said, I'll put I'll put Misty details in the bottom of uh, the description of this video so you can find it that way. Okay. Thanks very much again. Have a great day and I look forward to talking to you again.